Hi everybody. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview once you get in how to do things. The last step is kind of all encompassing. But anyways, you'll start out with a desktop like this. If you don't, it may look something similar to this with the setup, the campaign setup. Just next your way through it. Um, actually, you can hit, I'd click all rules just to make sure, but you should see uh, just about everything in here. I don't know why this is showing un, unpurchased. It is purchased in the contents there, but anyways. Uh, same thing with this B series five. It's there. I'm not sure why. Um, uh, come on, don't crash, please don't crash. Okay, so don't worry about it. anything that's not loaded here. I'm gonna fix later. Um, yeah, a lot of these things you guys don't need that's showing up. They just I happen to own them. But anyways, uh, just next. So click that and then next your way through. When you hit finish there, it'll probably take a minute because it's actually gonna download and load all of those books. So give it a minute, maybe up to 15 depending on the the connection speed there. But eventually you should get back to a desktop kind of like this, where it's empty. So once you're here, pop open a character selection screen again from here and pick who you want to be. It's only going to show the ones that are available. As the people come in and pick these up, they'll disappear. So for example, if Alexa clicks on her, or Christina picks on Alexa, Alexa's going to pop up here in the corner for her. And if you go back to characters, it'll no longer be there because you guys, it's already taken. If you accidentally click on the wrong character, say Grumples comes in here and goes nuts and she also wants to be Joe, here, it'll pop up here. Once it's here, just right click and release. Then it goes back to whatever it belongs to. Okay? And then I just always lock it so that this doesn't move around the page. So anyways, the character sheet's going to look like this. When you open it, it'll have all your stuff. If anything's missing, let me know. I know that the languages are missing. I'll get to that in a minute. I just gave Christina catfolk because she is catfolk. Anyways, um, so I'll add that. I forgot to. All of your abilities and stuff should be in here except for Sarah's because I have to write them. It's going to take me a bit at this because they're not standard, so i got to actually go in here and learn how to add stuff. But anyways, everything else should be done. What you guys are going to be doing is adding your equipment. So you're going to hop down here to inventory. You probably have a couple of things here that I gave you already. May not. I don't think I gave Joe anything because I don't know if he's fighting with his hands or with a weapon. But anywho. Um, you'll come in here. You'll see you got a thousand gold and maybe a couple things that I've given you for free. I will be adding some other stuff uh, for you guys later. But short, short answer is uh, once you have your character sheet character grabbed, you're down to your inventory. Come over here to items. This thing will pop up and it may take a minute to load the first time because again it's pulling from like the 30 books that I bought. And you can hop down to here at the bottom or here at the top. There's a couple of pre-made buttons for stuff uh, that you can buy. So say for example I wanted to get a weapon. I could do weapons here or I could just click weapon here and it's going to bring up the weapons catalog or the armor catalog here. And I don't know yet how to make special weapons, but don't worry, you guys can't afford it anyways at this level. Um, you have $1,000 to spend, and the only other limit to that is you can't spend more than half at once. So you cannot spend more than 500 in any one item. So you can just come in here and look. These little ribbon-looking things are links to more information. Like, I don't know, say you wanted to find out what a ha Haramaki is, it can show you that it's armor light, AC bonus, and such and so forth on it. The trick to this is to drag and drop from here into here. That way it automatically fills out your character sheet with the information from the weapon. So say for example, because I know Christina is going to want hide armor. Let's go in here and we'll find leather, which is the same as hide. There it is. So I'm going to grab that and drag it. Now as you can see here, it added the leather armor. It already added the weight, adjusted this. If I go up to combat, it's going to show the armor already added with her armor class, things like that. It should just make it much, much easier for you. Weapons do the same. If you drag and drop a weapon, it'll add it. And then down here in actions, it'll add the weapon. The only drawback is it always adds the weapon as if it's the only weapon you're holding in your hand. So if you're going to be dual wielding or anything like that, um, you know, one weapon each hand, let me know because we'll have to adjust that manually. It just doesn't apply for it. So, for example, for Christina, I had to come in here and uh, 
adjust her bonus because she's dual wielding for the penalties for having one weapon in each hand, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if you're going to do that. I don't think either one of you are. And Joe, your character does dual wielding when he does flurry of blows, but it has a whole different rule set, so we won't have to worry about it. We'll just do that at the time. Again, we're not really using this application much, except for get the characters sorted at this point. Okay. Um, that should be everything. I've already got the spells done for everybody. I've already got your special abilities, your skills, your races. Uh, all this stuff is done, so you shouldn't have to. The only thing is just to buy some items. And it's just mostly just going through here and, and looking at the, the, cool, the cool effects. There should be a way of actually browsing the books. I just haven't found it yet. As in the books themselves. They're all uh, in here. Oh, there it is. Ah, cool. So yeah, if you want to, you can do it by the book as well. Um, hey, I figured it out. So if you wanted to say ultimate equipment. There it is. Equipment. There. Armor. And there. You can see these are the, this is where those tables came from. So you can go through here and do it as if you're looking through the book. Uh, and it's all it's all laid out for you. Okay, so just a quick quick recap here. Let me scrub this as if we're starting over again. So character, pick my character, go down to inventory here, go over to items, and then just start dragging and dropping items. And remember when you're done, um, or on a piece of paper, just jot down how much it costs and subtract that from your gold when you're done. Okay? Um, each, if something, I don't I don't think anything in here is going to be in silver unless you start going some really, really uh, cheap, cheap stuff. Like, if you start doing adventuring gear and you're doing, like, a torch. Um, I don't know if they have a torch in here. All right, let's just go with uh, torch, for example. There. Okay, so a regular torch, if I pull this open, it's going to be in copper pieces. Just note that these are all 10s. So uh, 10 silver equal gold, 10... What? Why is GS out of there? Oh, gemstones. This uh, should really be renamed to gemstones. There. Okay. And uh, get rid of that. If it comes up with GM or GS like that, Ignore it. It's the gemstones. It's for when you guys are carrying cash. I don't know why that's misordered. But anyways, so it's 10 to 10. So 10 copper equals silver, 10 silver equals gold. So if, if Christina decided to buy this, then she would drop this to 999. 10 minus 1 is 99. And then she's got 9 copper left over like that. And if she bought another one, then of course it would be 2 of them. And she would have 8 Um, when you see these radios coming up, I'm right-clicking. Right-clicking gives you all the contextual stuff you can do. But Again, I'll be going through after you guys are done, and I'll be adding some other stuff, like some cool magic trinkets that you might start with, and I'm not going to charge you for them. So, long story short, grab your character, go to the inventory piece, click on items, and just start dragging and dropping cool things you want. And again, if you want to read more up on it, you can... Click the ribbon and it tells you everything that it has to do with it. Or you can go through the book method, which is, I guess, are considered modules here, and then start looking at magic items like that. And these tables will probably be the best way because they're pretty detailed. At least give you a good idea of what it is before you click on it and read through the whole box. Okay? And if you have any problems or issues, let me know and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Bye, guys.